Okay, so um, I need to give everyone an update because uh, last week I went and had an MRI or was supposed to get an MRI. I went to um, the hospital in Boston, New England Baptist. Um, let me rewind. I, I, I Two years ago, I had knee surgery. Um, that was to clean up my meniscus, my left knee. <clears throat> and almost immediately, my knee started feeling better, but I started getting hip pain. So when I started my prep for the Olympia that year, I was walking on the treadmill. And every time I like squeezed my glute, I'd get a sharp pain in my hip. And I just thought it was a pulled muscle. And, and well, now we're two years later and uh, it hasn't gone away. And in fact, it's gotten worse. So I've gone and seen a doctor, um, the surgeon to see what my options were. He said, well, we got x-rays. There's a little bit of um, noticeable arthritis. Um, in order for us to see exactly what we have here, we got to get you an MRI. So, you guys, I, I posted a picture of me and my Johnny going in about to get an MRI. What they do is inject some dye into your hip, and that way they can see it in the MRI machine and see what's going on. Um, the MRI is best for soft tissue. Um, what happened was I went in and New England Baptist is an older building, an uh, older hospital. Apparently they don't have the updated version of an MRI. So I was going in it and I was like this and they said, put your hands by your side. I put them by my side. We got to about my elbow and it was literally squeaking, squeezing, trying to get me in there and I couldn't get in. So he backed me out and he's like, put your hands over your head. So I tried that and I couldn't lay like this for 45 minutes. I just wasn't going to fit. And the guy's saying, well, this ain't going to work. So he backed me out, called the doctor. He said, yeah, go send him in for a CAT scan instead. So we got the CAT scan done. I'm currently waiting on the results of that. Um, and that's it. I haven't had surgery yet. Basically the option is um, there really is no option. I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to get a cortisone shot in the next week or two, which will allow me to train, um, will allow me to prepare for the Olympia and the fall shows. And then after that, you know, prior on Thanksgiving or between Thanksgiving and Christmas, I will go in and have whichever surgery they are recommending. So the options are, um, um, I don't know how they say, laparoscopic, uh, basically an uh, arthroscope, go into the hip and sew it up. They think I have a labrum tear, um, or it could be worse than that. They said if they did that, the recovery is a lot tougher. Because it's soft tissue, I'll need to be immobilized a little longer. Um, and that would give me like five to seven years before we had to do something else. If it's worse than they think, uh, I may have to go right in for a hip replacement, um, which the recovery is easier, but it's a hip replacement. Um, you know, depending on what muscle they go through, if they go through the front or the back, um, it could be you know, a tougher recovery as far as those muscles firing. It takes a little longer to them get, you know, to get back to normal. Um, but you're on your feet walking within hours of the surgery. So those are my options. Um, it's unfortunate. Everyone gets old. Nobody beats Father Time. And uh, I'm no exception. I still feel great. I can train, which is odd. When I'm warmed up, I can still squat. Like four days before I went in for the for the MRI, I uh, was squatted 405, no knee wraps, eight good reps, rock bottom. Um, 
but I, there's just other things I can't do. I can't put my socks on, can't tie my shoes. It's very awkward putting on pants. Um, just basic things, everyday things. I can't lift my leg very high up off the ground. Um, internal rotation is very painful. Um, so that's where I'm at. I didn't have surgery yet. I most likely won't until, um, like I said, between Thanksgiving, Christmas, somewhere around there. And, uh, you know, as much as I love bodybuilding and, and I look forward to training for this year's Olympia and, and being my best, the best that I can be, um, I also look forward to being pain free and getting this fixed. It's been hurting for two years now. and. Um, it, it's getting gradually more, um, uh, getting to the point where I can do less and less as far as everyday life things. It's just aggravating. So that's where I'm at. Like I said, I can still train. My leg is still, you know, I, I've had two of the best leg workouts in the last couple of weeks. I feel really good as far as that goes. Um, but. Yeah, because I've seen a little back and forth between people. No, you had surgery. No, you didn't have surgery. Um, I did not have surgery. I'm just getting in the process of figuring out when that will take place. So thanks for your concern. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll keep everyone updated. All right, this is the Boston Mass. Thanks again for watching. Now, if you're not subscribing, subscribe now. Tell all your friends to subscribe. If you haven't, do it now. All right?